Hey team, welcome back to my channel. And if you're doing this in real time, then happy almost Halloween. Today we have a special Halloween themed workout called Spooky Squats. All right, team, you don't need any glue, just your mat and your water bottle. Let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start with just a simple warm up. Go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or tower and come to some knee hugs to butt kickers back. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull one knee up, give a little bit of a tug, pull the other knee up, give a little bit of a tug, all the way up to the front of your mat or towel. And then I'm gonna butt kicker, bring the heel up towards the booty, butt kicker right back. All right, team? Good. I'll go at your own pace right here. Keep in mind it's just a warm up. Beautiful team. Good. Who's dressing up for Halloween? Comment below what you're gonna dress up as. Beautiful team. Good. Beautiful. Good. So hence the name of this workout, Spooky Squats. There's going to be lots of squats today. It is a lower body workout, so we need those hips, those legs, those hamstrings nice and loose. Beautiful team. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and come to a hip opener to lateral shuffle, pinning down my towel. Nice try, wind. Oh, okay. Wind is trying to spark back. All right, so hip opener lateral shuffle. So I'm going to go ahead and take this inside hip, swing it open, rotate it open, shuffle across the mat or towel, take the opposite hip, Swing it open, shuffle back. All right, team, alternating sides right here. There is a little bit of cardio in today, too. So you do need that heart rate up, primed, body ready. Good, team. Good. I am not dressing up. Um, I might do some funky makeup or something, but that's about it. Good, team. I was going to, and then I just, you know, it's like I was going to, and then it's like last second, and you're like, okay, I guess I'm not. Good, team. Beautiful, let's go with one more each direction, wherever you are, even it out. Perfect, good. We're gonna go ahead and come into, I used to call it walking hamstring stretch, but then somebody else called it shoe the chickens and I like that better. So, shoe the chicken. So, you gonna go ahead and put one foot out, hamstring stretch, you're gonna shoe the chicken, scoop it away. Shoe the chickens, walking up towards the front of your mat or towel, and then we're gonna backwards jog it back. Good team, good. Lots and lots of squats today, it'll be fun. Good. We're not going anywhere, um, but I do expect to have trick-or-treaters. Beautiful team. This is my first time in my adult life living in a neighborhood with lots of kids. So I do expect to have trick-or-treaters and I want them to, you know, have fun and all that fun stuff. So I was like, oh, I should put on some sort of costume. Good. Play along, why not? Good team. Beautiful. So when I was growing up, I had a neighbor that he would always dress up as the Grim Reaper. Perfect team. Go ahead and take it from the top, so we'll come right back into this. Knee hugs to butt kickers back. So he, his front door was like, you know, you gotta go up the stairs to get to his front door. And he'd be at the top in his Grim Reaper costume and, you know, a fake ax. And he'd have a bowl of candy sitting at the bottom of the stairs and he's just watching kids come up, you know? And so as kids would come up, He'd scare them, you know, he'd run down the stairs real fast and like kids would like run away laughing, you know, they'd be like, ah, ha, ha, like, <laughs> so he'd, he'd scare everybody once and then let them have a piece of candy. Good team, beautiful. Perfect, go ahead and come right back into that lateral, oh, hip opener to lateral shuffle. Good team, good, beautiful. But he was like my favorite and I was like, oh, like I wanna do something like that. I'm not prepared for it this year. First year Halloween, I'm trying. <laughs> Good, but at some point in life, I'd like to be the fun Fallen Halloween house. Good team, beautiful. Good, let's go with one more each direction wherever you are, even it out. Perfect, good, go ahead and come right back into those. Shoe the chickens to backwards jog back. Beautiful team, good, beautiful. If you actually see chickens out here, I don't think you should shoot them away. <laughs> I love the Hawaiian chickens. Good team, good. They're fun to watch and the little chickies are so cute. Perfect team. Good, getting that heart rate up a little bit. Getting ready. Let's go with one more walk up here. Beautiful, good. Perfect team. Go ahead and come into your natural squat stance. We're gonna come to 10 overhead squats. We'll count these out together. Come to your natural squat stance. We're gonna come down as the arms come up over overhead. Ready team? We'll count them out together. Let's work, drop it down. One, good, two, three, good. Try and sink a little lower each rep. Four, five, good team, six, seven, good. Eight, two more, 
Nine. Last one. And 10. Perfect. Go ahead and take the feet nice and wide as we come to a lateral lunge stretch. So go ahead and bend just the right knee. Get a nice stretch in this left groin. Good. And switch. Bend just the left. Beautiful. Switch. And switch. I'll go one more on each side. Switch. Good. And switch. Perfect team. Carefully walk those feet back together and go ahead and make your way down onto all fours right here. Come onto palms and knees as we come into a cat cow stretch. So go ahead and drop the belly, look forward. Good. And curve belly button to spine. Look it out, get a little weird. Find any tight spots. Good. Big arch. And curve. Beautiful. Arch. And curve. And we'll go one more each. Big arch. And curve. Beautiful team. Go ahead and curl those toes under and peel the hips up nice and high into a down dog. Take a moment here to pedal out your feet. Shake off your fluff. Good. Then when you're ready, go ahead and take the right leg. Pick it up and go ahead and step it up right here. Go ahead and come to your runner's lunge. So go ahead and plant the left palm. Take your right hand, open it up. Big twist. Good. And then try and bring that elbow down towards the ground. Good. Alternate between those two. Big twist up. Bring that elbow down. Big twist up. Bring that elbow down. And one more each. Big twist up and bring that elbow down. Perfect. And go ahead and plant the right palm. Step that right foot back. Shake it off right here. Even it out. And the same thing opposite side. Go ahead and take that left foot, kick it up, and then step it through into your runner's lunge. Let the toes spill off right here. Give yourself plenty of space. As you plant that right palm, open up the left. Big twist. Good. Bring that elbow down. Good. Big twist up. And don't worry about touching the ground. Just to give it that intention. Bring that elbow down. When I first started doing this, I was like, maybe here. I was like at the calf level. So don't worry, team. You'll get there. Big twist up. Bring that elbow down, and one more each. Big twist up, and bring that elbow down. Perfect. Go ahead and plant that left palm, step it back to meet the right. Last little shake off right here. And when you're ready, take a nice walk up towards your palms right here. Meet your breaking point. Roll it up. Get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our workout. All right, teams, so we're coming into the first half of this workout. Slightly different format from usual. We're not going to do circuit style, but between every exercise, we're going to go 30 seconds of sumo squat pulse to scare. So it looks like this feet slightly more than they would be in your typical squat stance, to toes point slightly outward. So sumo squat stance, you're gonna squat pulse. So go ahead and come all the way down, come about halfway up, come back down, and then come all the way up and scare. All right, team, it's Halloween theme. So in fast motion, it looks like this. Little pulse, boo, boo. All right, team, you don't have to say boo, but <laughs> you get the gist. You got 30 seconds of those between each exercise. So first exercise, we're gonna go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or towel right here as we come into some thrillers. We got thrillers to a high knee, so it looks like this. All right, <laughs> when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good, good team. Get your Michael Jackson on. Cause it's a thriller. Good, beautiful team. You guys are like, I don't know what's scarier, this workout or her singing. <laughs> beautiful team. Good. Have fun with it. Good. Today is fun. If you're anything like me, this is taking a little more coordination than you anticipated as well. So take your time with it. Good. Do, 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 do. Good. Perfect team. Shake it off. Go ahead and come to that nice wide stance sumo squat pulse to a scare. When you're ready, there's seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Pulse it out. Boom. Good. Arms come up. Good. Remember to pace yourself here. It's a lot of squats today. Beautiful team. Good. You can be a different creature each time if you want. We can go, roar! <laughs> Good team. Whatever roar, some type of monster. Beautiful. You can tell I had fun planning this workout. <laughs> Good team. Beautiful, get big. Big and scary. Beautiful. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come into some prisoner deadlifts. So feet about hip width apart, slight bend in the knees. Bring the hands up behind the head right here and use that as your cue to keep the shoulders pulled back so you keep that nice flat back position as you hinge up the hips, push the booty back and then stand it back up. All right team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Beautiful. Good team. I thought deadlifts would fit because it's like, get it? Deadlift, ha. <laughs> Beautiful team. Beautiful. Good, push that booty back. Deadlifts are more technical, so focus on your form here. Beautiful. You don't need to work on your form for thriller arms. Good. <laughs> but you can focus on your form for deadlifts. Beautiful. Good, team. Good. We're going to sweat. 
and laugh and build muscle today. <laughs> Perfect team. Shake it off, go ahead and take those feet nice and wide. We'll come right back into that sumo squat. Pulse to scares, 30 seconds on the clock team. Let's work, good. You know what it makes me think of? Monsters Inc. Good. Channel whatever your favorite monster is on Monsters Inc. And if you've never seen that movie, that's your homework. That's, <laughs> that's your Halloween homework. Good team. Good, I love that movie, it's so cute. Beautiful. Good, good. It makes me think of the little girl. It's like Michael Wazowski. Good team, good. The little one-eyed monster. Looks like a little basketball. Perfect team, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come to some Grim Reaper Axe Hacks. Oh, I'm gonna get the hair out of my mouth. Now we're gonna come to some Grim Reaper Axe Hacks. So looks like this, I'm gonna go ahead. Grim Reaper, he's all in the black hood and he's got that little ax that's all curved. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, and take the feet wide right here and go ahead and pivot. I'm on my right toe right here as so I bring my invisible ax up over my left shoulder and then I'm gonna hack it down, down towards the right corner, all right? Upper left, down right. All right, team, we got 30 seconds staying on the same side, then we'll switch sides. Are you ready, team? Let's work, good. Use that core right here and pivot on this foot. Use this hip, your hip should be switching with you. Beautiful. And swing it down. You are the Grim Reaper. Whoa, good team. <laughs> Beautiful, good. I actually was reading that the Grim Reaper doesn't even like really use his ax, but that's okay. He's, <laughs> he's supposed to like go and suck souls or something like that. Good team. Beautiful, a few more seconds here. Perfect team, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and pivot on that left toe right here and go ahead and bring the ax up over your right shoulder. We've got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work, bring it down. Good. Really use that core, pivot those hips. Good. Stay moving here, getting that heart rate up. Good. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating. Grim reapering. It's hard work. <laughs> Good team. Carrying around this ax all the time. Man, gotta do what I gotta do. Beautiful team. Good. Squeezing into that core, use that oblique. Perfect team, shake it up. Go ahead and take those feet nice and wide. Sumo squat, pulse to scare us. 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work, good. Boo, oh yeah. Good, get big, give me energy. Good, good, you can even do the, I kind of keep doing it accidentally. <laughs> A little evil fingers like this. Grr, good, grr, good team. Beautiful, good. Have fun with it today, and every day for that matter. Beautiful team, a few more seconds, stay with me. Good. Perfect. Good. Beautiful team, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and come, it is a monster walk, so go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or towel right here. I'm gonna go ahead and come towards the back left corner. I'm gonna come down into a squatted position right here, and I'm gonna take this right foot, swing it around and out. Then I'm gonna take the left foot, bring it towards the right, and swing it out, just like a monster walking through the snow. Whoa. All right, team, and then same thing going backwards. All right, team, so stay in that slight squat position the entire time. When you're ready, team, you got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work, good, good. Legs are gonna burn, good. Think of the, what's the snow guy? Almost said the snow apocalypse. Is it the Yeti? I can't remember his name, but snow monster, be him. Good, team. The abominable snowman, good. <laughs> beautiful, good. Walking through the snow, fee, fi, fo, fum. Beautiful team. I smell snow cones. Good team. Perfect. Perfect team, shake it off. Go ahead and take the feet nice and wide. We'll come right back into this. Sumo squat, pulse to scares. 30 seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Good, good. Get big. Last round of this. We'll take a water break in a moment. Good team, so give me energy here. Be big, be scary, use the fingers, use it all. Let it scream. <laughs> good team. There's probably some people in the park that can hear me and are like, what is wrong with this chick? All good. Good team. Beautiful. A few more seconds. Good. Perfect. Perfect team. Shake it off. Get some water if you need it. And we'll come into the second half of this workout. All right, team, so coming into the second half of this workout, this time between each exercise, we're gonna come to some spider squats. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and come to my natural squat stance. I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna come up and think like a spider, like you know how their legs are on the outside, do, 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 and then crawl up the wall. So you're gonna think like a spider, bring that knee to the outside. All right, team, squat back down, 
opposite knee goes. All right, team, so 30 seconds of that between every exercise. First exercise, we're gonna come to some ghost glides. So go ahead and come towards one side of your mat or towel right here. Get down nice and low. We're gonna come to some ghost glides. So think like a ghost. Ghosts don't actually have feet. So we're just gonna glide back and forth. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Beautiful. Good, get that heart rate up. Good option here. If you wanna turn it into a full jump and stick the landing, you can. I'm gonna keep it nice and ghosty and glide. Beautiful team. Get the arms moving with it. Give it some speed. Beautiful. So I'm actually doing a drawing right now. A Halloween drawing, which usually I have a reference photo when I draw. And so this is like the first time I'm not using a reference photo because I just made up the entire thing. And I put the scene like in a pumpkin. Perfect team. Shake it off. Go ahead and come into those spider squats. Go ahead and come to your natural squat stand squat and that outside knee. Third seconds on the clock team. Let's work. Beautiful. Um, and so I drew a pumpkin and on the inside, I wanted it to be like Halloween town, you know? So on the inside, I have the Grim Reaper and his mansion, like his haunted house. And I have two ghosties coming up to it, like they're trick-or-treaters, you know? And it's like in a graveyard, good team. So I'm excited, I sketched it. I'm excited to shade it. Beautiful team, a few more seconds, stay with me. Perfect. Beautiful, shake it off. Go ahead and come towards the back of your mat or towel right here. We're gonna come into some mummy lunges. So arms out, mummy mode, must eat brains. You're going to walking lunge up towards the front of your mat or towel, and then you can regular <laughs> backwards jog it back. All right, team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work, bring it up. Good, good option here. I just did it, it was actually kind of fun. <laughs> Go full on mummy mode and bring the knee up. Beautiful, good team, good, good. Dead arms in front of you, beautiful team, good, good team. You can use those arms to kind of counterbalance here. Beautiful, let's sneak one more in, good. Nice strong legs, perfect team. Shake it off, go ahead and come to your natural squats. We'll come right back into those big spider squats. 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work, good. Beautiful, squeezing into this oblique. Good, aside from being a spider, there's a functional purpose to this. Beautiful team, good, good. Don't do what I just did. Bring the knee up so hard that you conk your elbow that hard. Good team, nice and controlled here. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but my legs are feeling it. I'm having fun, but I'm burning. Beautiful, good team. Perfect, shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and take the feet nice and wide. We're gonna come to a slightly squatted stance right here. We're gonna stay low as we come into some witch's brew. So feel like there's a big cauldron in front of you. Get a hold of your little stir pot. Oh yes, my pretty, the potion is almost ready. All right, team, we got 30 seconds right here. Stay nice and low, 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work, good. If you start to fatigue, you can just stand up more. Otherwise, stay down. Good, the potion, yes. It's gonna keep us young and beautiful forever. Good team. Perfect, go ahead and switch directions. Good. We can make it up as we go along here. We can pretend like it must be stirred equal amount in each direction or it will be wrong. If that does not work, we will turn into a toad. Beautiful team. Perfect, good, shake it off. Go ahead and come right back into that squat, spider squat, <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Beautiful team, be a giant spider. Quads are burning. I'm feeling it. Good team. Good. We're almost there. It's a tough workout for as much fun as this is. <laughs> it's also a lot of work. Good. Beautiful team. So you can be fun to make progress. Good. Beautiful. Nice strong legs here. Bring it out nice and wide, squeezing that oblique. Good team. Beautiful. Perfect team, shake it off. Last exercise, well besides spider squats, last new exercise. We got Frankenstein kicks, all right team? So think Frankenstein, Frankenstein is stiff. So we're not gonna bring the knee up and then kick it out. We're just gonna lift straight from the hip flexor right here. Whoa, Frankenstein. All right team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Beautiful, good team. That would actually be like, um, it sounds like an easy costume because I feel like Frankenstein is more about how he carries himself and anything else. Good team, nice and stiff, beautiful. Good, I actually don't know his full story or if there is a movie on it, I wanna watch it. Good team, 
Good, nice strong bodies here. A few more seconds, stay with me. Good, perfect. Beautiful team, go ahead and come back into that natural squat stance, back into those spidey squats. We got 30 seconds on the clock team, let's work. Good, squeezing into that oblique, good. Good, this guy just walked by, he's looking at me all funny like, why? <laughs> Kicking like that, good team. Good, so if you're doing this in your living room, all the more reason to be goofy. <laughs> I can do it in public. Good team. Good, nice strong legs. Almost there. Beautiful. Good, last little heart rate burst. Good team. Stay with me. Be a spider. Perfect team. Shake it off, get some water if you need it. Then we'll come into our cool down. All right team, so coming into a cool down, we're gonna go ahead and start with a quad stretch. You can grab onto a wall or something stable or stare at something that's not moving. Go ahead and bring that left foot behind you. Get a hold of that left ankle and get a nice stretch in the front of this leg. This is your quad. We're still learning our names of muscles. Anatomy, don't worry about it team. Good. I will teach you, this is your quad, quad stretch. Good, deep breaths here, taking that heart rate back down. Beautiful team. Yeah, I wanna hear some fun Halloween traditions. I know some people are like really into it and turn their houses into haunted houses and stuff. I wanna hear about it. Let me know how your Halloween is. Perfect team, go ahead and drop, shake it off. Same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and bring that right foot up behind you. Get a hold of that right ankle, find something stable to stare at. Obviously not me, because I could fall like I just did. Good <laughs> team, beautiful. Don't worry if you lose your balance like I just did. We will catch you, the ground is there. Beautiful team. Good, take that heart rate back down. Good. Then I know some like really talented makeup artists that do awesome stuff for Halloween. Perfect team, go ahead and drop, shake it off. Go ahead and take the feet nice and wide right here as we come to a wide leg forward fold. So press the booty back, hinging at the hips, reach for the ground right here. It's okay to come up onto some blocks. Maybe we can fingertip the ground, maybe we can palm the ground, maybe we can walk the hands in alignment with the feet. Good team, just meet your appropriate edge for today. Let everything go heavy, get a nice stretch in these hamstrings. Good team, deep breaths here. Beautiful, good. Yeah, I might, um, I'll see what happens. If I do something cool, then I'll share it in my next video, but I don't think I'm gonna do anything all that cool. <laughs> it's like worth sharing. I think I'm just gonna hand out candy to kiddos. Perfect team. Go ahead and take your time here, rolling it back up and walk those feet back together. I'll go ahead and meet you at the front of your mat or towel right here, feet about hip width apart. Go ahead and hinge up the hips into that forward fold, plant the palms, nice generous bend in the knee, and then go ahead and step just the right foot back right here so you're in this nice low lunge, then go ahead and drop that back knee, uncurl the back toes and take a big beach ball up and overhead. So you can take this big beach ball, get this right hip tucked up underneath you, pull the left hip crease back, you should feel a stretch in the front of this right hip flexor. So option here to take the big beach ball or the more restorative hands on hips. Good, I'm feeling energetic today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the big beach ball. Beautiful team. Good, nice hip flexor stretch here. Perfect. I should, when I edit this, I should count how many squats I just did. Good. But it was a lot, over 100. Good team. Good, go ahead and bring the palms back down, curl the back toes back under, lift the back knee, and you're gonna go ahead and take the right foot and step it back towards the left, meet you in down dog. Take a moment here to pedal out the feet, shake off your fluff, and then when you're ready, go ahead and take the right foot, step it up into your runner's lunge, find your footing, drop that back knee, uncurl the back toes, and take a big beach ball. Good, or more restorative hands on hips. Make sure this left hip flexor is really tucked up underneath you. Pull the right hip crease back this time. Good team, if you don't do that nice, pelvic tilt and then get into this then you're going to be able to lean a lot further forward so that's a big clue that you're not tilted correctly good team drop the shoulders relax them in either position you chose hands on hips or overhead good stretch out that hip flexor beautiful team go ahead and rain it down right here lift the back knee and step the right foot back to meet the left in plank pose then go ahead and drop the, to the knees right here, we're down on the all fours. Swing the legs over to one side and come through over onto your butt. And then we're gonna go ahead and come into a butterfly stretch. So bottoms of the feet together, knees out nice and wide, sort of nice and tall, nice proud butterflies. Oh, that would be a beautiful Halloween costume. Good. I like to, um, I'm like a DIY person. That's why like, I know I could just go to the store and get a costume last second, but I find it more fulfilling to actually like make a costume, you know? Um, one of these years, I didn't do it this year, obviously, but one of these years I'm going to be a bowl of cereal and I will share that because that will be awesome. Good <laughs> team. Beautiful deep breaths here. Good. I won a contest one time by being, um, 
a jellyfish. I got a kind of transparent white umbrella and put ribbon off of it and strung Christmas lights through it so I'd light up. Um, and then I just wore like a white dress and I, you know, put my umbrella with my little tentacles and, <laughs> and I walked around like that. So I won a costume contest with that. That was really fun to make. I put, I glued um, little colored rocks all down so it looks like these colors are like radiating down. And anyways, <laughs> all right team, go ahead and release right here. Send the feet out nice and long. I'm gonna scoot forward a little bit so I can come all the way down onto the ground. So go ahead and take Charlie's angel's fingers right here. Let the index finger out and the thumbs out and then take your time rolling it back. Come down nice and flat right here. Of course, we are going to finish in corpse pose. Let everything go heavy right here. Let the feet splay where they want. Let the hands lay down by the side right here. Corpse pose as we say our farewells for today. So when you're ready, go ahead and on an inhale, bring both palms together. Giant namaste, big clap, making a round of applause because you deserve it. This was a tough workout. Go ahead and bring both palms over to the third eye. If you enjoyed this workout, please hit the like and subscribe button because I have new workouts every single week and a new recipe every single month in your most scariest voice. Let's say happy Halloween. Ready? One, two, three. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Excellent work today, team. The Divine in me honors the Divine in you. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time.